It's my boss. I, uh, I better call in. There's the paper on the corner. Thanks. See you soon. Tell me you finished the Vanden Bosch work, right? Look, Mary, I gotta go. Hey. You're not going anywhere till you show me four framed paintings and an itemized bill for 1200 bucks. The old biddy will just have to wait another day. The old biddy will be here in exactly 20 minutes, and she expects... I'm telling you, you walk out that door, you don't come back. It's Oodles! The Frosted mini wheats, you can have it all. For the adult in you, whole grain wheat, no fat or salt. For the kid in you, lightly frosted, great taste. I'm glad I've analyzed what I really want. The frosting! Tonight on Dave, actress Madeline Stowe and singer Travis Tritt. Folks, do me a favor, watch our show before CBS loses us to Fox 2. Connor, it's me. Look, I know. I know about everything, and, and if you're there, please pick up, because I want to help. Connor? Connor? Well, well listen, it's, will, you, will you call me as soon as you get this? I'm, I'm going to be at home waiting. You don't have to go through this alone. Not anymore. Hi there. Hi. Evan. Hey. How about we run away together, say to the South Seas? Or... Don't tempt me. You had a rough day? <laughs> it was the worst. <sighs> well, it's not Tahiti. Why don't you just, quick, tell me something good. Did you have a good day? What happened to you? Oh, hey, it, it was terrific. Yeah? So does this mean that it, things are a little better with Connor? Well, I don't know about this. She was out all day, but I'm expecting a call from her any minute. Mm -hmm. Business. Mm -hmm. Of course. Okay, how about this? While you guys are wheeling and dealing, I'll go get us a pizza. Half pepperoni, half sausage, because I feel like living dangerously tonight. <laughs> and then, um... I got some really big plans for you. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. You give me a hint? No. My lips are sealed. Want to bet? No. <laughs> Not fair. Uh, Evan! That's Cal! Try to locate your car. Cal? Hi, Rosanna. Cal? Um, uh, I don't know where she could be. I've, I've looked down there everywhere. Yeah, uh, you and me both. She's not here. Rosanna, uh, do you mind getting that pizza we just talked about? Oh, yeah, sure. Thanks. I'll be right back, okay? Yeah. You know, I'm glad you showed up. You mind telling me what the hell's going on? You know my sister's pregnant, right? Why the Sam Hill you think I'm turning this town upside down? Well, it beats me. What I've known for about, oh, an hour. You? Uh, how long have I known she's pregnant? A while, but... Wait, wait, wait a minute. You, you knew that she was pregnant with your baby and you still treated her like, like dirt? You backed off her like she had the plague, Cal. Damn it! Yeah, every time you left her office, she was crying. Hold on what? here. 
I was sure that the baby was not mine. I, what? I what? You thought it was Lynn's? Oh, come on. You mean to tell me she didn't tell you? She tried. And you didn't believe her? That's right. I didn't believe her. Not until Emily convinced me today. Well, how did she manage that when Connor couldn't? Look, there's nothing that you can say to me that I haven't already said to myself. But that's not what's important. What's important is finding Connor. Well, your concern might just be a little bit late. Oh, but you could find that uh, backstabbing Anderson character that you drove her to. He's not home. Then we'd better find him. Hold on, hold on, take it easy. Hi. All right, what's the problem? She's pregnant, she started bleeding. How many weeks? 14, the cramp, the cramp started on the way over here. What do we have here? A patient's pregnant, a second trimester, bleeding, possible contractions. Uh, do you have any allergies, any medications? Just relax, you'll be just fine. Can we have some help over here, please? All right, Connor. it's okay, I know what they're doing. Jeez. Hang in there, Connor. <gasps> Uh, can I can I stay with her? No, I'm sorry. You'll have to wait here, but I'll keep you posted. I promise we'll take good care of your wife. <sighs> may I use the phone? <sighs> yeah, um, Oakdale. A number for Cal Strickland? Yeah. <laughs> Is Lily arrived yet? Oh, uh, no, not yet, but I'm just so glad to know that the two of you are taking the night off together. Look at me, surrounded by Grimaldi's. <laughs> oh, they say too much of a good thing. Oh, I'm sorry. But... Okay, I'm glad you're here, Joe. Hi there. Hello. Hi. Okay, excuse me. Hi. <laughs> hmm? Lily just called from fashion. She thought a man was falling on her. And? And apparently the man convinced her and the Munson that she was mistaken. I'm meeting them here to get a detail. How's John? Oh, we just saw him. He's decided to go with the chemo. Uh -huh. Dr. Rose left the decision up to John, and he uh, made the wisest choice. So? So? So where is she? Oh, do you mean Shannon? No, I meant Janet Reno. Yeah, I meant Janet. <laughs> Darling, uh, she's upstairs. She's sound asleep. Well, I'm not surprised that flight from Africa must have been just exhausting. And then to get home and find the, the news out about Jessica and oh. Duncan. Yeah, we wanted to call them, but under the circumstances. I think it's best we just leave everyone alone so they can work this out, nice. however that may be. Well, it's been three long years. I'm sure she's changed as much as Duncan has. Maybe the whole thing will just resolve itself. Well, I don't know. Lady comes home, finds out she lost her husband, has to give him up. I doubt she's changed that much. <laughs> well, see for yourself. Oh, Janet! <laughs> Welcome home. Hey. Hi. 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 Oh, no, don't put anyone faint, please. <laughs> Welcome home. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Hey. Oh, I'm not sure I believe oh, myself. Oh, man. Oh, so it's so good doing? to see everybody. How did you ever, ever survive? Well, I guess three words. Never give up. <laughs> oh, everybody, sit down, please. Thanks. You. you just look beautiful. No, Lisa, don't, don't get angry. I um, kind of raided your jewelry box and your <clears throat> closet. Darling, don't you know I would have given everything I own just to see your shining face again? But don't overdo. I, shouldn't you be asleep? I thought you'd sleep through until morning. Oh, Lisa, I never sleep eight hours anymore. Unless I have malaria. <laughs> you had malaria? Uh, no, I'm sorry, it's a local joke. Bad local joke. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, young lady, you should have a thorough checkup. 
I can make time for you tomorrow if you wish. Oh, still the same sweet man. <laughs> but I'm fine. I'm fine, really. Actually, I'm more than fine since Duncan rescued me from that airport and swept me into his arms. Where's my husband anyway? No, it, it's okay. Really, Duncan's, Duncan's told me everything. I, I've even seen Jessica and, and her baby. She's adorable. Um, I assume that Duncan thinks you are sleeping, and I'm sure he's going to call and check on you later. You oh. know, I thought we came here for a celebration. Indeed, that's true, isn't it? Uh, AJ, yes. uh, please send over a bottle of champagne to this table, our best champagne, and a bottle of sparkling cider. You got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you imagine that just... Just a while ago, I was saying to Barbara, my life is so dull. <laughs> uh. Damien. Car, are you all right? I'm fine, I'm fine. I was just overreacting a little bit. Do you think she was overreacting? Well, it's hard to say. There is a Henry Grover registered at Stratford. If I couldn't get in touch with this business, this J&R Carpets in Tucson. I also want to check out this sister who's supposed to be a memorial. May I? No. I really appreciate what you've done for Lily. And Kara, you weren't overreacting. You had every reason to be suspicious. By the way, can you identify this man? Well, we all saw him. Oh, he's saw... about 6'3", very good looking, dark. He wore a dark sweater, dark pants, gray overcoat, black leather gloves. <laughs> And I thought Hal was the detective in the family. <laughs> Thanks again. Thanks. She's not at the Falcon Club either. Oh, good. Then I'll camp outside her house. No, listen. She's going to call me here as soon as she gets the message. Oh, yeah? What makes you think she won't just back off? That she won't retreat? Because she's not going to back off from me. Well, she wasn't too eager to share her pregnancy with you, was she? Maybe because she was too humiliated to talk about it. But you can bet she shared the rest of it with me about all the misery you put all her right, through. All right, now you have said your piece, and I've heard you. Now, are you going to stand there and keep taking pot shots at me, or are you going to help me put things right? For Connor and for the sake of that baby. Now, put up or shut up. What's it going to be? Well, there are a couple of places I know of. She hangs out when she's not feeling too hot. Yeah, I reckon I know them too. Uh... I'm gonna head over to Mona Lisa. It's worth a try. All right. I hope you find her. Hi. Hi. Well, you don't hope I find her half as much as I do, Ed. Well, uh, let me know. So, what's all this about Connor? Well, suddenly our high and mighty oil man gives a damn. Oh, well, that's good, isn't it? I mean. Better late than never. Well, I guess I don't know what I'd do anyway if I knew what to do. So, you, you said you had plans for me or something? Yeah. First, I'm gonna polish off this pizza. And then, you're gonna change out of those clothes. And into some other clothes. Not cellophane. Hmm. <laughs> never know. I'm in charge tonight. Kurt, I wouldn't have this baby to bring Cal or any man back. Well, then have it for you. Have it for the child. I mean, you said you wanted to be a mother. That was always part of the plan, right? Well, too bad the timing wasn't. Well, that's life. I mean, sometimes you just gotta grab it when it happens. I appreciate you caring so much. I really do. But the fact is that I already made my decision before you came over. And I'm going to have the baby. Mr. Walsh. Mr. Walsh. How is she? Well, she's having contractions. 
We've given her some medications to try to stop them. All we can do now is just watch her and hope we can save the pregnancy. What are the chances? Well, truthfully, not good. But we still may get her through this, so don't give up hope yet. We'll continue with part two of As the World Turns in just a moment. Every day, Roger Thorpe is fighting for his life. I want you to take this bullet out now. Every day, he'll do anything to stay alive. What are you going to do? Are you going to go right to the police? I like holding your fate in my hands. But every day, he's on the verge of getting caught. Uh, police! Quick, turn on the light. Guiding light. Now, part two of As the World Turns. Hello. Oh, oh, you, you're here. I called Thelma, she told me. How dare you? Oh. How dare you? How dare you mess with my plans? How dare you mess with my life? How dare you impinge on my... Bumpy ride? Look, Mia Culpa, I'll give you the short version. I did this for you. Oh, please, me? Yeah. Oh, spare me. Well, exactly. You think I enjoy commandeering your jets, risking your wrath, not to mention the wrath of complete strangers to ferret out a so-called brother of yours? You are in orbit. I'm trying to protect you from a crash landing. Let's assume. Oh, actually, I'm planning on it. What strangers? All right, stop by the shop where Markham's oh. supposed to work. No Sam, but he does have the sentry posted. Very beautiful, very intelligent. Girl? Beautiful. She gives me the third degree, I cover, but I still get the heave-ho. Wait, good. Does she have a name? Well, she's not exactly the friendly type. That's fine. That's fine by me. Uh, uh, the, the limo awaits us. Let's go. I'll fill you in on the way. No. Oh. oh, no, darling, no. You're going to get back on the commuter plane. You're going to have that experience all the way back to Oakdale. That's an order. I don't take orders. I don't take kindly to people who impinge on my space. I'm on a journey here. I'm looking for people, my roots, my family. And I... I'm very upset with you. You're fired. Come on. <sighs> taxis. Taxis. Well, I hear the two of you have a pretty unusual story of your own. Well, I wouldn't exactly call it unusual, but I don't think we really want to discuss the circumstances. Suffice to say that Will is our happy ending. Mm. Awakening. Mm. Oh, a high school teacher of mine once said, there are no endings, only wakenings. <laughs> See, Will is yours, and I can't tell you how fantastic it feels waking up in the town that I love with the man that I love. Well, I guess uh, the only thing to say is welcome home. Thank you. Well, I'm off to do more table hopping. <laughs> Did you hear her? She just thinks that Duncan's going to leave Jessica and Bonnie and she can pick up where they left off. I don't believe her. Well, wishing don't make it so. Sure is one hell of a mess, though. Yeah, but it's not ours. Hi. Hello. Hello. Bob, can I speak to you for a sec? Sure. Excuse me. Why don't you, uh... Uh, are you sure you don't want to go for some brandy? No, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine, really. I just feel a little foolish, actually. That poor guy he felt terrible. Three of us all over him. He was probably more scared than I was. Wish I'd seen him. It was just as well you didn't. He could have ended up in a hospital with his sister. What do you mean? Damien's not a violent person. Oh, of course not. But he used to be a professional boxer. Okay? His fists are dangerous weapons. Eduardo, Lily's trying to relax. Oh, she knows how I go on. You, you are the one who should relax. Gorgeous as ever. <laughs> oh, it's so good to see really? you. Oh, you look great. So what happened? Oh, I want to hear every detail. Oh, oh, oh I, I promise to tell you as soon as I catch my breath. <laughs> oh, the important thing is, is that I'm home with my husband. <laughs> now, speaking of which, uh, where's the love of your life these days? Uh. <laughs> this is this is my husband, Damien Grimaldi. This is uh, Shannon uh, uh, McKechnie. 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 Damien Grimaldi. Very nice to meet you. Uh, hello. And welcome back. 
Thank you. I've heard all about your ordeal from my cousin Eduardo. Uh, oh, Grimaldi, right. Well, it is a small world, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> you look positively dazzling, isn't it? Oh, thank you. I hope my husband thinks so. If he ever gets here. Well, oh, do you know Duncan? Who doesn't? He's a very important man in our community. Hmm. Not half as important as he is to me. <laughs> oh, maybe we should sit down. Mm. Sure. Oh, no tea. Uh, well, Shannon, you must have been through a lot. Oh, well, yes. The complications with Jessica. I know. I understand it perfectly. I mean, Duncan thought I was dead, and so naturally he turned to a good friend. And, you know, these things happen, and um, then babies happen, and, you know, Duncan, chivalry be thy name. But the important thing is, is that I am his wife. <laughs> well, and on that note, I am going to make a phone call. Okay, thanks very much. I meant what I said about that checkup. I meant what I said. You are looking even younger and more handsome than ever. Oh. <laughs> Can I borrow a quarter? Mm-hmm. Blarney will get you everywhere. <laughs> yes, I would like a number for um, a Duncan McKechnie and C. Thank you. It's a good thing Lily was on the ball, because if this guy isn't on the level, and he had followed her to her car. The story could have had a very different ending. We've had a rash of street crimes lately. Uh, the old post-holiday blues, mm -hmm. huh? Any specific area this the time? The usual three in the warehouse area last week alone. Not near my warehouse. Two in the very next block. Al, I checked with hospital records. Maureen Grovery is not a patient at Memorial at present, nor has she been in the recent past. Well, it looks like Lily may very well have been in some real danger. I left four paintings for framing, and I expect four, not three, not two, four. I know, Mrs. Vanderbosch, but there was a problem with one of them. We'll have the other for you tomorrow. Good evening. Sorry, lady, we're closed. You'll have um, to come back tomorrow. You see... The molding didn't quite match the other three. And I know how much you want the set to be perfect. So Good evening no again. I'm looking for Sam Markham. Because if I you don't business. mind, I am in the midst of a con. I'm so sorry. You, you'd expedite things if you would tell me. Give me some information. Look, lady, can... Sam's gone, okay? Now, do you mind? You just give us Sam's address. We'll be out of your hair. I don't give addresses. I have no intention of paying for unfinished work. This is been guaranteed that they would be ready on the 17th. Today is the 17th. I'm sorry. Yeah. If we need one more day. And make it snappy. I one more. I can by 10 in the morning. Bob was sure. And maybe the hospital records aren't right. They aren't always. Maybe she's under a different name. Sometimes patients do that. Yeah, if they're rock stars. Listen, Lily, I know this isn't what you want to hear. And frankly, it doesn't make my day either. But there is no patient named Maureen anything at Memorial. I had Bob double check. The guy was lying. Damn, I wish I'd followed my instincts. I never would have let the guy go. No, I am I am the one to blame. To think that I wanted him to go on his merry way. I felt so foolish. I can't believe that. I don't know if I'm more angry or terrified now. Well, as long as we're doling out blame, I think it's my fault. I saw him skulking around the store. I did nothing about it, even though he refused help. Hey, look, no one is to blame. No one. The important thing is Lily's fine. I intend to see she stays that way. Now, what am I supposed to do? Walk around my whole life looking over my shoulder? That's wonderful. Great. Lily, Hal and Barbara filled me in. Listen, uh, you've got some time tomorrow. Why don't you stop by the station? We'll see if this Grover character turns up in one of our mug books. I'd be more than happy to. It's worth a try. We'll drop by and check them out, too. Great. Uh, and about that uh, business card Hal was talking about? I have it. Mm -hmm. I have it. I was going to ask uh, Eduardo to pass along the information to our security people in Rome. The King's mm -hmm. Do you think there's a connection between this Henry Grover and the bomb threats at Kingsley Malta? We'll be looking into that thoroughly. Well, we'll check out the local angle. Could be your garden variety mugger. With a little luck, we may pick up a clear set of prints from that car. Then, by all means. Thank you. <laughs> 
sweetheart, you've been going on four burners here. I think it's about time you went upstairs and called it a night. I'll make the excuses for you. Lisa, I couldn't even if I wanted to. I'm so wired. Uh -huh. As for calling it a night, all I want to do is fetch my husband and give him a good long talking to <laughs> in the local motel. There's an old saying, uh, patience is a virtue. What do you think got me through the last three years? It wasn't virtue. It was a necessity. Well, darling, what, I'm, what I meant by that is that you cannot possibly fix everything in one day, and neither can Duncan. You know, this the is best a thing complicated thing about being in the jungle was there were no answering machines. I just tried to call him, uh -huh. and he didn't pick up. You know, those machines are truly evil. Yes. Yes, well, I'm sure Duncan wants to get in touch with you, and he will as soon as he's sorted out everything. Mm -hmm. Shannon, did you by any chance bring back some of those wonderful African masks? They'd be such fun for the ball. <laughs> oh, you know, there was something I forgot to pack. <laughs> so, you want to dance? You? Dance? Yes, I would love to. <laughs> Thank you. So? So? How you doing? <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm really? High. Really? How you doing, really? I mean, that's a hell of a thing to come home to. Well, it's not exactly the homecoming I dreamed about. You know, I did a lot of that in the past three years. Dreaming about Duncan and me and what we'd be feeling and doing. That's what got me through. <laughs> it's funny. Those dreams did come true for my good friend Jess. But I survived the jungle and Lilith, and oh, it, it'll be okay. Duncan is my husband, and he loves me, and it'll work out. It will. Well, I love you. We both love you. So, if things get a little bit of rocky, we're here, okay? Mm -hmm. And I love you too, Thomas. But you worry too much. You always did. Hey, Melissa. Uh, have Kirk Anderson or Connor been in tonight? Mr. No, Strickland, I... just the man I wanted to see. Oh, excuse me. Listen, Cal, I had a couple of thoughts about Connor I wanted to talk yeah, about. Yeah, you and me both. Listen, uh, it's kind of important that I catch up with her as soon as I can. So, you got any idea where she might be? No, sorry, I haven't seen her today. But, you know, when you do catch up with her, I hope you level with her about our arrangement. Because if I hear her give Anderson one more kudo about footing the bill for this investigation, I may just tell her myself. Hey, hey, relax, Howard. Don't worry. I'll tell her. Tell her that and a whole lot more just soon as here. It was a girl. Callie. That's what I was going to name her. Callie Walsh. Callie Walsh. She would have been special. Special like her mom. For you. I'm sorry. Can I call Cal? Evan? Just 
tell me what you want to do. I'll, I'll, I'll do anything. I just want to... Don't move one incredible muscle. I'm glad this worked for you, even if it's not the real me. Shh, will you be quiet? I don't want to lose that certain something. <laughs> Besides, who says this isn't the real you? You may not be dressed up like Mr. Corporate America, but this is the you that I know and adore. Lucky for me. Also lucky for me, you don't dress me for work. I think Connor would blow a gasket if the real me showed up for a Delphi meeting looking like this. You know, that's another thing. I think you underestimate your sister. You know, I've gotten to know her pretty well since our parents' big wedding in Gross Point, and I think she's warm and she's funny and she's a heck of a lot stronger than you give her credit for sometimes. All right, so she's a little down right now with this whole grand jury thing but evan once they throw this case out she's gonna bounce right back and be her own self again oh i'm sorry i'm just getting a little bit antsy Stop being a punk was easy huh and don't i get to see it no until it's done you're not the only one making plans you know your birthday's coming up oh i almost forgot well you know you don't have to do anything that special what if i want to actually i was thinking of taking you to that big uh Falcon Club blowout. The mask ball. Mask, huh? Does this mean I don't get to look at your face all night? No, mask. This means romantic, anonymous, and very, very sexy. Mm. Well, I don't know. Maybe it'll be fun making the masks. But didn't I tell you that I failed construction paper in kindergarten? <laughs> And who wants to ruin your birthday with cutting and gluing? Yeah. yeah. Who wants to ruin my birthday with flow charts and talks of strategic reviews? And it's not going to be like boring. that. This is a big charity event, a, a place to call home. Better? It's better. But I'm still going to make the masks. You drive a hard bargain. Real me, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, whoever I am, you make me better. That's because whoever you are, I love you. Just don't leave me. Not a chance. Call the casino, make sure nobody broke the bank. You broke into it, you mean? It's a joke. A bad joke. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. I've never seen him this shaken up before. Well, Lily, it's understandable. This Grover character came a little too close for comfort. True miracles are created when a person uses the courage and the intelligence that God blessed them with. <laughs> we thank God for your safe return. Here, here. Here, here. Thank you. Thank you all. Oh, I'm feeling so many beautiful feelings right now. I have to share them. Lisa, I need your car keys and, and your coat. Oh, well, uh, darling, my uh, car keys, but well, there's a set with the attendant out there, but I really wouldn't oh, do this. Not? Duncan's a part of this. I just want to go get him. Shannon, oh. Shannon, Duncan's with Jess. Okay. I know. Shannon, Lisa, Shannon, Shannon please. Fool. <sighs> Now you listen and you listen well. I want you on the next plane out of here tonight. Hey, it wasn't my fault she got wise. I did my job. You got full reports on your wife and that Snyder guy. You owe me. After the way you ruined everything? No, not a penny more. And I'm warning you, check out of that hotel, pay cash and disappear now. Suppose I don't. That will be a very unfortunate choice. Just a minute, just a minute. What? I am the one that's going to do the talking here. All right, is that understood? Do I speak English to everybody? Be here if it wasn't for me. Great! 
Bye. Ignore him. How do you... Knockout. Uh, how do you do? I'm Lucinda Walsh. And I wanted to speak to you about Sam Markham, because I have some... I have a transaction, a business transaction, but it's, you mustn't worry in any way, shape, shape or form. It's not bad news. I have, I have wonderful news for him. Wouldn't you please invite us in?